song of the well. Yes, it says sing out to the well. You people who know your Bible, where is singing out to the well talked about? Isaiah. It's from the prophet Isaiah. That's why I said what we're talking about today is really the crux of the Dead Sea Scrolls outlook. All the rest is, you know, icing on the cake. You see, we found lots of materials there, but we already had the main document anyway. We just didn't know what it was or where to plug it in. That's great. See if you watch when we come to the Song of the Well. And I think it's around Isaiah 50-something or other. Nil Veemer also mentioned in Isaiah 50-something. It's all in my New Testament code book. I can't put all that stuff back out. It's in, it's in the chapters that I write about that in this other book here. Okay, so going back here to column six still. So they went out, why is the land of Damascus so important? Because that's where they raised the new covenant in the land of Damascus in column six and column eight. That's where they raised the new covenant in the land of Damascus. And we want to know about the new covenant in the land of, of, of Damascus, don't we? Because we're familiar with another new covenant, the cup of the new covenant in the blood of Christ, aren't we? That's where all these parallels, linguistic and language parallels, come into play. So why did I make you read all that stuff at the beginning of the class? And I would have gone more into Josephus at that time. To let you see, do you think this is happening in the second and first century? Or do you think this is happening BC? Or do you think this is happening in the first century AD? And in my view, the language parallels are all from the first century AD. Not from anything we heard in, okay, the Maccabees may have gone out for fought in the wilderness a bit. Judas went out and lived in the wilderness and ate nothing but wild plants. That's a sort of um, archetypical maybe moment. Okay, let's finish column six here so we can go back to column four. For which reasons God called them all princes because they saw him. Princes is in the thing here, uh, is in the quote. The well which the princes dug. So the diggers and the princes and the priests are all the same. But this is more detailed. Because they sought him with a whole, because they sought him, seeking God is very important. And their honor was questioned by no man. And the staff, the Mehokek, he is the interpreter of the Torah. That'll come, that'll be, we hear, we'll hear about that more. He will go to Damascus. He's the star who went to Damascus. He's the interpreter of the Torah, of whom God said, of whom Isaiah said, he creates an instrument for his works. Yeah, here we're getting into the Isaiah 50. It's Isaiah 54, 16. And the nobles of the people, again in the previous uh, passage, are those who came to dig the well with the staves. And now staves, I put in parentheses, is hukim, playing on laws. Which the staff decree, that's great, the hukim, which the mehokek hakak, hakak is the verb, mehokek is the noun, and uh, the hukim are, and so they're playing with the hawk here, that this, this is the righteous, or the interpreter of the law, let's just leave it like that, pretty interpreter of the Torah, and that's great stuff. The hukim, which the mehokek hakak, it's all poetic in Hebrew. It's all playing on words and so on. That they should walk in during the era of evil and without which they would not persevere until the standing up of he who pours down or teaches righteousness at the end of days. Well, I don't know who that is. He who's going to stand up, be resurrected, stand up, can be, and as he can be resurrected, it can also mean come, it can also mean arise, but I think here it's uh, resurrected. He who will pour down. That means, I think if I'm not mistaken, I have to look at the Hebrew, I don't have it right in front of me. Instead of the more Zedek, who is the righteous teacher or the teacher of righteousness, more Zedek. Oh, these things dry out. I'll try this one. I'll cover this one over to get the fluid back into it. 
Pardon my vulgarity, you guys. I thought we'd get some fun to do tonight. Okay, here we go. Now, if you got some backup ones, I'll probably need a more aesthetic, or it's really hot setting, which is, uh, this is a the. Uh, more ascetic means teacher of righteousness or righteous teacher. Teacher of the righteousness. Uh, the teacher of the righteousness. Or anyway, this other one is your ascetic. Which is pour down righteousness. I don't think that they're different. But in any case, he who pours down righteousness at the end of days, whoever this is. Infuriating code, you see. Um, so, but all who enter, who have been brought into the covenant, shall not enter the temple to kindle, kindle, kindle its altar in vain. Rather, they shall be bars of the door, just as God said, Who among you shall not bar its door? Nor should you light my altar in vain. Quoting Malachi 1.10. But you see, if at one point in the book of Acts, Paul is in the temple, if you recall, and the crowd starts yelling, this is the man that teaches against our people, against our religion, against this place all over Asia, and now he's introduced non-Jews into the temple or something like that, and they all sort of jump on him, but we're supposed to sympathize with Paul, which we do, okay, that's the narrative. And then they, 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 they throw him out and they bar the door, it says in Acts. And they bar the door behind him. Who will not bar the door? Now, I don't say that that that's what it means that they're related. But there's parallel things going on there. In the in, in the one is on one is the opposite of, of the other. That is, you shouldn't have people who are, you know, impure or uh, anti-Moses or things like that, and entering the temple to kindle its altar in vain. This is a very law-oriented, Torah-oriented document. You say, well, I don't like that. I'm not Torah-oriented. Torah okay, but we're not worried about what we like. We're just worried about what it is. This is an argument. It's not a matter of which side we're on and which we feel is better or more suits our present life. You want to be sleeping with people in their periods one way or the other, that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. We, we don't, we're not against it or for it. If this document is against it, fair enough. But the point being, we're just trying to see who's into what and who's into the other thing, that's all. And uh, what the parallels are. So here, we have this bar.